So you among those who complain about fake frames? Well, Nvidia has listened to us. They had even more fake frames. Well, of course, I'm cynical here. Nvidia just announced this in CES 2026. And basically they're doing a massive leap when it comes to AI rendering. Uh, their new update uh, introduces two major technologies, uh, a second generation transform model for super resolution and a six times dynamic multi-frame generation mode. We'll talk about the dynamic in a moment. So for them, the goal is clear, bringing state-of-the-art image quality and path tracing gaming at over 240 FPS. I'm telling you, it's getting so good that I'm thinking about degrading. I mean, even now a cheaper card can get me well decent enough frame rates. And usually when the games are demanding when it comes to competitive play, they usually are so well optimized that you, you won't actually use it. And of course, you don't want lag or anything else. So when it comes to competitive games, I don't even use it. And I don't actually need to. Even with my 3070 Ti uh, laptop, I actually uh, didn't use it and it was fine, in, in, I think in most cases. But at the same time, people complain because these technologies exist, this is actually what lead to developers develop unoptimized games because in some way, uh, these uh, AI uh, features can actually kind of uh, close the gap and fix their unoptimized games. I got kind of in quotations, yeah? So let's first of all talk about super resolution. Uh, this is a NVIDIA second generation model and it's significantly more sophisticated, utilizing five times the compute power of its predecessor and trained on a much larger high fidelity data set. Now the key improvement here is lighting. Previous um, upscaling techniques operated in logarithmic space to reduce flickering, which often uh, crush shadows and muted bright colors, but DLSS 4.5 trains and infers directly in linear space. What this means is that the glowing neon signs, bright reflections and high contrast scenes now retain their full color range and physical accuracy without artifacts. By the way, here you can see me actually me playing with the remix in Half-Life 2 RTX. Alright, the next thing is about um, quality and compatibility. Uh, now the results will be sharper, uh, anti-aliasing, uh, that reduces ghosting and better motion clarity. Now all of the things are very important. There are times of course where I enabled uh, DLSS and I didn't really, I, I just hated the different artifacts and the frame by frame inaccuracies. So all of this is about to change. So NVIDIA claims that performance mode now, uh, and again, some of you probably use performance mode to get those extra frames, but the image quality of the performance mode wasn't of course that good. So now it actually matches or even beats native image quality. This is a huge thing because this is one of the reasons people didn't want to use performance because it just led to just bad image quality. It's all over the place. I mean, people are commenting about it. So of course there are many benefits for those who are using maybe lower resolution, uh, and want to get better uh, image quality. Those who want to play in 4K and want to, to get better results when I'm playing, for example, performance or ultra performance. For those, for example, who have high refresh rate monitors and really want to take advantage of that and want to squeeze extra frames to get to this, but not at the cost of image quality. This is another great advantage. Unlocking what actually NVIDIA says, and I quote, unlocking the full potential of 240 Hz and 360 Hz monitors. And on top of all that, and I'm going to quote, uh, with NVIDIA Reflex, low latency technology means DLSS 4.5 can generate these additional frames with minimal impact to responsiveness. So while ultra performance is finally a viable option for 4K gaming, again, all of this is really a big step forward, in my opinion, give you extra frames, but still maintaining very high quality, uh, image quality. Now, uh, the best news, well, this super resolution upgrade is available today for all GeForce RTX GPUs. So you can access it by installing the new uh, NVIDIA app beta update, a full release drops on January 13th. Now, while it runs on all RTX cards, RTX 40 and 50 series owners get an extra boost by leveraging FP8 precision, which doubles inference throughput to handle uh, the heavier model with minimum performance cost. Now, uh, the next thing is dynamic multi-frame generation that's coming spring uh, 2026. Uh, this is the second pillar of DLSS 4.5 and is for IN hardware coming this spring exclusively to the GeForce RTX 50 series. So here NVIDIA is introducing a dynamic multi-frame generation and a six times uh, multi-frame gen mode. So this technology can generate up to five additional frames for every single traditionally rendered frame. 
So this allows the system to dynamically boost performance up to a maximum of your refresh rate uh, of your display. Now we're talking about we have 240 plus FPS gaming with full path tracing enabled. And of course this XOR allow uh, players to play with uh, path tracing where before they weren't able to and get a decent performance. Even more than that, of course. And alongside the molding option that will be available with RTX and are available and continue to improve with RTX Remix, what you see here, by the way, uh, we can see some even really amazing improvements for molded games of classic games uh, they just look incredible and continue to improve as the community kind of, uh, you know, start playing around with the RTX re Remix, which is available, by the way, to download uh, through the NVIDIA app. So I'm going to check the home page of that app. But just in a kind of in a nutshell, for those who wonder what RTX Remix logic is, uh, this is something that NVIDIA announced um, uh, as well. And it allows modders basically to create dynamic visual effects that um, react to real-time in-game events, such for example as changing weather when a door opens or triggering uh, screen effects when player health is low, without needing to access the original game source code. So what it does, it uses a new logic system with over 900 configurable triggers to detect game states. And it's uh, very flexible with over 30 supported game events. And we're gonna uh, quote now, including the player's camera state, world uh, bounding boxes and any object state, the flow of time and even the keys uh, a player possess. Yeah, basically that's it. If you want to find more information, of course, on the official NVIDIA channel and I want to hear your opinion about this update, uh, again, for better or for worse. Uh, and that's it. Uh, if you love the content, please consider also subscribing. Give this one a little like. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Cheers.